Welcome into a brand new film room here from the star in Frisco alongside Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans as the Cowboys prepare for week nine of the NFL season. They are six and one on top of the NFC East and they've got the Denver Broncos coming to town. Denver at four and four. They've struggled a little bit this season, but a couple things that they do really well. The Cowboys are going to have to try and come back. Yeah, absolutely. And then one of the things that these guys do is they do a pretty good job against the run, but they are still 28th in the league in terms of defense. There are some ways in which we we can exploit them, especially with some number 58 not being there anymore. Oh, Von Miller. Von Miller is no longer yeah. there. So that's one threat that we don't have to worry about. We're going to take a look here at something that they struggled with in a major way against the Cleveland Browns, which was D. Ernest Johnson had 146 yards rushing against these guys. This is one play. He did it multiple times in this game, but I want to show you guys how these guys are getting reached on the first and the second level. Watch how this offensive lineman right here does a good job of reaching this block. This offensive center comes up, washes him down. He gets a reach block. He comes up to the second level, and then we're getting here on the backside with the block. These guys literally wash one side of the field all the way to the left, and let's go ahead and run it through real quick. This is what they're struggling with. Pause that right there. Look how these guys get with a misdirection. All right, they got misdirection here. We're running a nice little counter on the backside, but look at where his eyes are, right? He's coming through this hole. He has his head on the wrong side of the man. He's getting reach blocked right here with that hand. He's washing him down. It creates a nice little ravine right here for Dearness Johnson to run through. One man's gonna try to arm tackle him. It's not gonna happen. This is something that we can take advantage of going into this week as these guys over pursue on that side of the ball. Cowboys held Minnesota to just 101 yards on the ground. Well, they are going to try and get their ground game going as well as Zeke really was bottled up against the Vikings. Now, what the Broncos do on offense is, well, big playability with guys like Court and Sutton, Jerry Judy, but also Teddy Bridgewater is not afraid to take a couple chances. Yeah, Teddy B, for whatever reason right now, is taking a lot of risk, all right? Sometimes it pays off. A lot of times, as of late, it hasn't. But I want to give you guys an example here on second down. What these guys do offensively in their schemes and their concepts with their routes, these guys like to run a lot of their routes right at the yards, okay, right at the stick. So right here, this is the first down mark, right here, right at the 41 yard line, okay? I want you guys to pay close attention to that. Wow, off of that, you have a clear out route right here by Sutton. You have a nice little nasty whip route that you're gonna see right here, right at the sticks again, okay? We're gonna have a nice by the tight end, it's coming right here on a little hitch route, and then he's trying to get behind the, right behind the second level here um, to, to make, make a nice little completion for a first down. But look, out of all these options that are open, boom, pause it right there. He runs a great route right here and destroys their man in man-to-man -man coverage. Again, what is, what is Sutton's job here? His job is to turn the head of this cornerback and just get out of the way. Again, we have this, there's the tight end sitting right here. He's grabbing those linebackers at the second level. We have a man wide open at the second level here. Out of all these guys that are open, we would think that he would get the first down easily, right, Kyle? Yeah, throw it at the line of scrimmage. One of the two guys is going to catch easily. it. Easily. No, 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 no. You are messing with this guy right here. He is looking down the field right here. Bridgewater throwing it up to Sutton in man-to-man -man coverage on a clear out route, you guys. He's 6'3", he's 218. He thinks he's bigger than everybody else. Bridgewater, instead of taking the easy conversion, he wants the big boy play. And because Cortland Sutton is so good, he can go up and make that side sort of play, but really that looks like it's a mistake from the quarterback position. He's going to give a couple of those. He's thrown five picks in his last four games. Now, for the Cowboys, whether or not Dak Prescott plays, they had some success with the deep ball. 73 yards to Cedric Wilson was a game-changing play against the Vikings. How did it unfold? Yeah, well, Cooper Rush did an awesome job for us, right? And rather, it really doesn't matter if Dak plays or not. What what teams are going to do as this season continues to prolong is teams are going to want to take out our outside our outside guys. We have Coop, right? We have Coop on the outside. It doesn't matter what route Coop has out here, these guys want to take him out. It doesn't matter what CD has out here, they want to take him out. How do you do that? Well, you do that by having two high safeties, right? You got these safeties right here. These guys are going to run out to their halves of the field. That's their responsibility. What's going to happen here? These cornerbacks are going to come up and try to get a bump and force the receivers outside, really negating whatever routes they had. So anything that would have happen on the inside is now taken away. These routes, what we call convert. If you had a slant route, it goes to a go route. If you had an in route, it goes to a go route. So they want to take out our outside receivers. What does that allow for? It allows for our guy, good old Wilson right here, okay? Wilson to go out here and make a play. He has man-to-man -man coverage right here in the slot. He is going to win right here. Boom, give a little nice little shimmy and cross the face of this safety, getting right into this gaping hole. And what you're going to see here is Cooper Rush 
right here with the big old dime right down the middle <laughs> to said Wilson in stride, an amazing ball, an amazing route by said Wilson. Our third receiver has to win as we go on the season because they do not want our number one and number two to win. You also got to think Michael Gallup will be back in the fold at some point. Yep. Then you have four guys who can win down the field. Cedric Wilson has had a phenomenal season and so far he's been a game changer on a couple of occasions. The Cowboys return home to AT&T Stadium this week, a noon kickoff against the Denver Broncos. For Isaiah Stanback, I'm Kyle Yeomans. That's it for Film Room. Thanks for joining us.